New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew, sir, this is a real problem, but we saw the last fight that there was in the House. Is, is the Republican Party ready for that? And is it a possibility that we could end up with a Speaker Hakeem Jeffries if it does go down? Let me be clear. I wasn't happy with the FISA bill. I was deeply disturbed by what happened there. I didn't like the last appropriations bills. Deeply disturbed there as well. And I don't like what we're doing as far as foreign aid, and we can talk about that a little bit more. But this is not the time to remove the speaker. I'm going to tell you why. And I've spoken to President Trump about this. This is a time where we focus on one word, winning. We have to get a more robust and conservative majority in the House of Representatives. We have to win the United States Senate, and we have to win the presidency. If we do that, then we really can accomplish something. Mm -hmm. To remove the speaker now is only a sideshow. It will only create more problems. It will only show America that supposedly we can't lead. That's not what we want. We need to focus. This is the time, this is the place to save our republic. But Congress, Congressman, and I, and I do deeply respect your vote on FISA. I thought the reauthorization of FISA in 702 as it stands was horrific. Um, okay. But that said, you, you talked about winning. And right now, the, it, appear, it appears that conservative policies, and I know, you, you, I know where you stand on this, sir, but your conservative policies from some people within the Republican Party are not that conservative. And Speaker Johnson seems to have backtracked on a lot of conservatism that he displayed earlier on in his career. Look, I agree with you. I would have gone about this in a different way. I don't like what's happened, and I don't want to repeat myself. You know where I stand on, yes, on all of these issues. I've been solidly conservative. I believe. I mean, FISA, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I was heartbroken in what the Speaker allowed to happen there. However, I want to win. I want President Trump to win. Uh, I want to make sure that we get the Senate and that we do have a more robust majority in the House. So Fair right enough. now, everybody's got to bite their tongue. We've got to focus on winning. And then when we do win in the next session, we can really look at what we want to do over a variety of issues. Yeah. Who's the Senate majority leader going to be? Who's the speaker going to be? How are we going to best work with this president, our new president, President Trump, and get things done? Congress That's how I feel. I want to get, I got a minute left. I want to get to foreign aid here. Look, there's a lot of angst about a lot of people in, on Main Street, myself included, that are concerned about just giving blank checks to foreign wars. What do you say? You can't blame them. People are breaking their back trying to make a living. They're paying more in taxes. They're paying more in fees. They're paying more in their utility bills for electricity, for gas. And then they're paying more to the government for all these foreign wars, particularly Ukraine. Look, we need to, I'm not going to vote for Ukraine. I'm going to tell you that right now. But in order to make it better for those who will vote, I'm putting forward a bunch of amendments that we know. What is the path to victory? Where is the end game? Yes. Um, we're going to say that Europe has to belly up here. They've got to make sure they're giving as much as we do. We need a full audit of what's going on. We need to tie it. If we want to make Ukraine's borders better, then they got to fix our borders. That and a lot more. And by the way, we shouldn't be paying for government workers, pensions and salaries in Ukraine. And we are. I don't care if it's a loan or an outright donation to them. That's wrong. Our folks at home can't even keep up. Congressman Jeff Van Drew, sir.